Hey everyone, it's Ron from Fist of Rage Gaming, continuing our journey with um, our level 3 character, Fists of Rage Gaming. And what we're going to do is we're going to first, um, we're going to do one of the first contact missions, um, requests. We're going to listen to the Overseer's Log. So let's do that. And what you'll do is go to the Pip-Boy. You'll go over to Hollow for Hollow Tapes. We will listen to that camp log. I guess we kind of read those in reverse order. Um, she was talking about leaving a camp somewhere. And then the camp one obviously told us that we're basically standing right next to our camp. That's right over there. So um, what we'll do is we will do, you'll see in Hunter for Hire, one of the options is to build a weapons workbench at your camp um, to scrap items. Well, we can scrap with our scrap box, but... You know, we can act like we don't have um, Fallout first. And in order to do that and to get back into camp mode where you can build as you hold down the double square button on your controller, and it will switch to your build window. Um, you'll have to go to crafting up at the top. We're using our bumper buttons to get back and forth. We go to our weapons workbench. And it'll tell you what it needs to build it. You'll see it's going to take six out of our 15 aluminum, three out of our six gears, three out of our six rubbers, three out of our 10 screws, and four out of our 146 wood. We simply build it. And then we just tap on the double square button again, and it closes our building there. So you'll see it took it away from our hunter for hire part. Um, 
but what we do need to do is build the crane treasure hunting sign. So let's go back into cam mode. And usually those are under new. So you'll see new things that we got. Um, you know, I've got a lot of things from our, from our original or from being in Fallout first and my other character. So it's kind of nice because if you do that, you can get these prefab buildings with um, atoms and you'll see like it just automatically builds this for you. So you don't have to go through a bunch of hassle. Um, once I get into back into camp mode, I can grab items and I can move them so I can bring them in here. Line them up nice so it looks nice and beautiful. If I use my triggers on each side, it does turn things, um, turns things left and right, spins them around basically, so I can line them up. Is there any advantage to having them in here? Eh, you know, not at the moment, but just kind of cool because you can store everything right next to each other. I don't know that we'll keep our camp here. We probably won't, but that's it. So we put everything inside. So now what we'll do is we'll build that sign so I keep going to my pit boy good grief so usually on new look I got the little the, the bomber too which is kind of cool so you can live inside the bomber put a door on there etc but anyway too big to fit here we will scroll up and we will go to our cranes treasure hunting sign there we go You'll see it does require one power. You'll see over to the right it shows like requires and there's like a little lightning bolt looking thing there with one. So we will build a generator. If you click down on the left stick again, it'll reduce things to what you have the ability to build. I could build this little generator. It's kind of ugly. I got fallout first, so I can build this cute little Voltec generator. So I'll put that on there. I drop it, hit my B button to deselect it. And now if you look at the bottom, it says attach wire, you click on Y and it automatically jumps up. You'll see it's jumping up to that connector. It's kind of cool way it sparks like that, but you'll see that right there. Come on. That's the connection point. So we just click the A button to connect it. And then we get out of uh, get out of build mode, and now you'll see the sign is lit up. So we should have some Jamokes showing up any second. Oh wait, we gotta load our broadcast tape into the radio tower. Where do I do that? Must have done that automatically. Oh, I hear some shooting going on. Sound like a bullet came kind of close. So I'm going around using my left bumper to activate my VATS. So it'll no one really show me where enemies are. That's a really slow fire. Let me load up my pistol. Yeah, it's not really giving me an option to in a let's tell me I gotta do it though okay super mutant shooting at me from like a mile away I'm gonna grab some logs in the meantime <laughs> you can tell I'm super concerned well let me get some wood water shooting at me Look at you. Oh, take a little heat. Look at that. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, yep. Oh, don't hide now. It's probably going to bring some friends in a second. I just have to remember I'm not playing with my other character, so I can't take, like, 15 shots to the chest. Look at that. That's the explosion thing. It's pretty sweet. 
usually has some cronies around. Super mutants don't tend to, to wander too far by themselves, but... Okay, I do need to figure out how to load this broadcast tape in here. Oh, so you'll see in the lower right, it shows a little bar and it shows a little drop of water. That's telling me I'm starting to thirst to death. So, okay, not to death, but so I can look for things to drink, preferably not vodka. Just see, I have some purified water, so I will drink that. So another moderately jinky thing I can do because I am in, because I subscribe to Fallout First is in my camps. I can go to water and I can build camp. Dun, dun, dun. Can't build what I thought I could build. So I do have this fire hydrant, but I don't know. You know what? I have to unlock that first. And once I do, I can use that little guy, which can go pretty much anywhere. And it's electric powered and it produces water. But I need to get the small water build plans first. So, all right, we can wait. See, I thought it was going to be all super cool. Still don't know how to load this. Broadcast tape. I'm just going to put it in there. It's right there. Did I put this thing in the way of something? I don't think I did. I mean, I could put it down here so it's out of the way. It just doesn't like being there. Hmm. Where to load the tape? Where do I load the tape? It looks like you put it like in there, right? Well, I have two places I can go. I've got two squares on my uh, two squares on my map or my compass down there so I can go here let's load broadcast tape into radio tower and search for traces of overseer so I guess we'll go look at the water tower is that guy a good guy or a bad guy a little bad guy that's all right I don't like those robots much they tend to bang you up a little bit but what are you gotta do right gotta shoot sometime oh here comes a dog here comes another, there's a dog right behind it. Oh, okay. Can I make sure you load that pistol before you start shooting and stuff? You always get a little bit of scrap out of them. Lead scrap is good. You need it for bullets. This is kind of where that dog ran from. I saw him, his silhouette. So normally I like to look where I'm running, but there's a a lightning bar. And normally I don't waste my time with those, but at this point it gives us a little bit of a uh, little bit of experience. And at this point, to get levels, we can. Getting so sick and tired of those thorn bushes. What the? What the blazes? Who's talking? Where are you? Just trying to use my vats again. Tabby cat I saw a tabby cat around here somewhere. <laughs> we really need to clean up around here. Oh look, that's a guy right there. Are you a scavenger? You are. I love shooting scavengers. I mean, I had to shoot them. I had no choice. Well, radiation. Although we our radiation bleeds off, so we don't have to worry about it. like that music usually that means that's a you're about to die music 
Okay, so that tower is probably going to be on top of those rocks. So we have to figure out how to get those rocks. Oh, great. Another Mr. Farmhand. The other one took to getting shot pretty well. Yeah. Uh-oh. He's going to explode. Whenever you hear that sound, you got to get away because he'll explode. <laughs> I like that he kind of floated in the air first. That was kind of sick. Normally you can find his carcass after the fact and grab the steel you were supposed to get, but... Okay. It's... Oh, there he is, way down there. Thank you. Ooh, that looks like a blow-upable car, as I... was the word I invented. Is that another scavenger? Oh, hi, scavenger. You're telling me. Look at all that stuff she's got. You'll definitely take all that. Put some ammo back in the pistol. And then shoot the car. See? Unfortunately, you gotta shoot it until it gets about halfway down until it starts on fire. And these cars must be like nuclear or something. So look at that. You can get some creepies or baddies right next to it. it does do some damage to them, that's for sure. Come on, climb the stones. Climb! Climb for your life. Let's see. You can see how the square is getting bigger on the compass. And now we got the countdown. So sometimes these are guarded by some creepy so we'll see hopefully not my pistol is loaded this time won't be a slacker all right look at all this wood i'm getting so now if i press the down on my right stick i can sneak so you know and sneaking is relative it's not like infallible You'll see how my hidden, how it's moving. You'll see how when I was moving around the hidden, the little bars out to the side, they're kind of getting bigger and smaller. That means there's something around here. That means I'm, oh yeah, there they are. Come here, Mr. Creepies. You can hear that impact too. That's nice. Ooh, that didn't hurt. Nice. You gotta like when they explode. Come here, buddy. Oh, miss. Why are you not using bats? You say. Well, sometimes I just like shoot them. Ooh, there's red stuff down there. Broadleaf. Come here, you. Bloodleaf. I forget. Oh, caution. That means there's another creepy around. There he is. I'll come back in front of the door, my little pretty. You're not that scorched. You're just a little scorched. Uh-oh. Two baddies. Sometimes if they get too close, I'll switch to bats. Nice. And now hidden is up. It's not moving, so I will stand up. This is nice because now you can hit the X. It'll show you all nearby corpses. You hit the X again, and it just takes everything. So you don't have to go picking through every corpse. The downside is, is sometimes, um, sometimes they'll drop their weapon like this guy did, so it doesn't come up as part of the, you know, collect everything. So sometimes you want to check around them. Military ammo bag, very important, because it has ballistic fiber in it. Ballistic fiber will be used to repair a lot of different types of armor. So you'll definitely want to grab any of those um, ammo packs in your ammo bags if you can. Those are critically important. We'll turn on our lights so we can make sure you can grab everything. Look at the mess these guys made here. I know I can get that oven mitt. You will grab all this stuff. 
Early on, you want to grab everything until you really learn what they have in them. Um, later on in the game, you'll get more selective. But for the time being, you just want to grab everything because you want to be able to scrap it and get up a good, a good store of scraps. So here's auto unlock. So this requires skill zero. So it's just automatically going to unlock because I have the legendary perk. So that's one nice thing. And it will give me the opportunity to open, um, like I said, level one through level three locks and terminals. So you just want to make sure we look through everything. I think I can grab that pillow too. It's straw pillow. I think it, it scraps to like a cloth or something like that. That's just about everything. Oh, no. Nope. I grabbed the carton of cigarettes and the ashtray. I think now we have pretty much everything, at least from inside. We may have to go up and look on the roof or something in a second. Is there a roof up there? No. I don't think there's any way to get up there. Dumpsters sometimes have stuff in them. That one's cracked open. We got some brain fungus, we'll grab that. Some glowing fungus, because you can make soup out of them. All right. So we will go back inside and put that tape in there. Emergency management, let's see. Okay. Okay, we're going to load our holotape. Broadcast tape. Activate transmitter connection. Okay, now I'm saying I need to... Nice. So since we are not over encumbered, we can fast travel back to our camp. So, we'll go to our map, and we'll go back to our camp, and we will fast travel. It's very odd that it is not showing me the, uh, the card to this game. That's my other character, Fist of Rage. This one's Fist of Rage Gaming. So. I know, not very original. So we can go inside of our... Uh oh Let me go inside here first. I'm gonna scrap everything I have. I can put my ammo in here. Okay, what do you got going on? I heard somebody yelling. Where are you, buddy? Oh, look at this guy. Treasure hunter. The hell's going on here? Okay, because him hiding in the bushes isn't creepy at all. <laughs> Crane found the treasure. Holy shit. Where is he? <laughs> the language. Probably not much more than you. He came to Appalachia, not far back, hunting for the same treasure everyone else is. Last time I saw him, he mentioned something about an abandoned storage facility. Picked up some details home, but beyond the general, he didn't share. Now, your turn. Where is he? The wayward, huh? You might be at pay to place a visit. Appreciate the tip, not Crane. Good luck out here. Crane must have really been on to something. He's got nothing. I sure don't want him visiting the the uh, wayward. That's the whole idea I wasn't supposed to. Oh, look at this guy with the baseball bat. Let me make sure I load my pistol before I start talking to this jamoke. You crane? <laughs> Scrawny little devil, aren't you? <laughs> oh, no, you didn't. So, rumor is you've got information our boss wants. You tell me where this treasure is. 
and he's willing to leave you alone. This guy just call me scrawny. Hmm. How about you just tell me where the treasure is? And if I like what I hear, I'll tell you that you can hand in your application. Oh, I think I like this guy. Hmm. Let's see. What do I want to do? If you lie, usually they know you're lying. Uh, I can just attack him or I just say know you first and see. You first. <laughs> no, you first. I'm making him mad now. No, you first. Is he getting more and more mad? Oh yeah, he's getting mad. Jeez, did he just say some naughty words? Maybe somebody else is shooting. Look at this Jamok. Uh oh. Oh my. My uh, stim pack, my auto stim pack just saved me. He's not even carrying nothing. Should I pick up some more on the way by? Look at that. We reached level four. Hmm. West Virginia Lumber Company. Oh, we'll take that. We got two purified water, two Salisbury steak. Uh oh, somebody's shooting at me. Is that more? Oh, it's gotta be another, uh, another mutant. That's right, I already grabbed all the wood. How do I get so distracted by wood? Come here, super mutant. Ooh, that hurt. Uh oh, reloading. Oh, that hurt. Look at fast as he worked that good. Better off doing it myself. Whew, nice. Look at him rolling down the hill. There probably are, are more of them up there, but I'm good for the moment. Wait, did I check all this wood? No, I didn't. Don't mind me. Look the other way. Go grab yourself a soda or something. Okay, there we go. I need to get to a train station because I really want to get my can or my shelter. Look, so that this guy's dead carcass is just gonna be laying there. Can I drag you off somewhere? No. <sighs> Whoa, is me. Okay, so we can go back up here. So we can also repair our weapons. So if we go into this, this uh repair station you'll see my 10 millimeter pistol is down a little bit but that's okay we're actually not worried about that at the moment we leave that the way it is but we could repair it if you look down at the bottom it says inspect and repair you hit y you can hit y and then you either use a repair kit down at the bottom by hitting y or you could do a workbench repair if i decide to do a workbench workbench repair i'll hit x and you'll see it takes a steel aluminum and adhesive so you'll always need adhesive that's going to be a big thing in this game so you want to grab all the adhesive you can. So we'll go to the scrap box. Scrap everything we can. We have a small vault tech supply package. So it's got 20 of each in it. So we can scrap that in there. Transmitter parts. I'll keep that just in case. I can put my 308 rounds in there. And I think I will store... One thing to note is that your... Well, not your, but the train stations do have stash boxes in them. So if you're putting all this stuff in here, you can get it out of the you can get it out of the um, train station later. So, so we are also oh, the only thing we weren't wearing was a right leg, and it looks like we got one. Excellent. So let's build an armor. 
And we're uh, Oops, back this way. Crafting station. We'll make an armor one. Oops, up there. Why can't I do it? Oh, I don't have two gears. Okay, so we can put it. We can put on that armor all banged up. That's okay. So go in here. Go back to our armor. Put on that right. So now you'll see our little character there is all covered up with armor. And you'll see down the lower right of that Pit Boy window it says eight, and then eighteen and fifty. So we have eight ballistic damage defense. We have eighteen electric defense against electricity and 50 radiation defense so you can always keep track of that down there all right we'll see if anything is in the overseer's cache no did i grab that log i didn't look at that so now we need to search for traces of the Overseer in Flatwoods or report what you found at Duchess. So let's report what we found at Duchess and see if she gives us anything. See, we've been in here too soon last time, so we can get a couple things, but most of the stuff will still be gone. Hi, Duchess. Well, you don't look too worse for wear. You managed to figure out where those miscreants are hiding. Fantastic. So that's where their boss will be. You just need to. Wait, wait, wait West of Virginia Lumber? <laughs> that is not right. You misheard them for sure. And that's of concern. Why exactly? I was wandering up that way, not too far back. The lumber company? That place was overrun with a bunch of those big green bastards. Mutants. You've seen those Frankensteins. If this gang was able to clean those things out of the mill, Duchess, these guys might be tougher than ever. <laughs> Not tougher than me. Got any recommendations on how you proceed? Well, I wouldn't go in guns blazing unless you got some big guns. Oh, I've got some big guns. Your way inside, oh, maybe not. They want to talk to you. But there was this family I ran into up that way that I'm sure has had to deal with them already. There was also this, uh, let's say, special scrapper who was making some pretty bold claims about his knowledge of the mill. Wouldn't be a bad idea to check in with either of them. Oh, I gotta talk to Mort. Alright, I'll talk to Mort. You'll find them at Anchor Farm if these thugs haven't already run them off. But if they are still there well they probably managed to work something out with them hey it couldn't hurt to find out what it was that's fair found him living in the stalls of tyler county fairbanks the guy kept claiming he knew the best way to run the mutants out of the mill but listen i couldn't get him to spill hell probably have a better chance he'll share what he learned with someone who still has an entire face <laughs> that's a very good point well that's a good thing that's all I've got. If you haven't already explored up that way, the fastest route back would be via Vault 76 and trekking north from there. And take care of yourself, all right? You're doing us a big one. All right, I can handle that. You'll see it's trying to show us how to fast travel, so we'll get to that in just a minute. Just see if there's any more stuff in here. Nope, still cleaned out from last time, so. That's all right. Just trying to see if I missed anything. Oh, I missed something in the locker. Look at that. I'm a slacker. I don't think I missed anything down here. I think I checked everything pretty thoroughly last time. I did. All right. All right, I think what we'll do is we'll call it for this uh, 
this episode of the game. Um, we did manage to get to level four. We smacked around uh, the thugs that were looking for Crane, and we are going to go find out where he is. We'll go question the family at the Anchor Farm, and we'll continue on with our Hunter for Hire in the next video. So um, it might give us the opportunity also, because we'll fast travel up there. So maybe this will give us the opportunity. I don't know if I want to go. There's a lumber company. Maybe we will end up going to find out what that key unlocks. Um, but definitely don't want to do that first. Kind of glad we didn't do it earlier because we probably would have went all the way up here and would have just had to go back down through all this anyway. So we'll work our way up there. We'll stop at the Anchor Farm. We'll stop at the uh, Tyler County Fairgrounds. And then we'll stop at Kill the Gang Leader. Or, as we like to call it, West Virginia Lumber Company. So... That being said, until next time, I'm Ron, and this is Fist of Rage Gaming.